Hello everyone, welcome back to Omegon 2. Sorry there wasn't a video last week, I was a bit busy. My sincerest apologies, fingers crossed, for a more regular upload schedule going forward. I should announce there is a two-year anniversary stream planned for April the 1st. I intend to cover a number of response videos I think will be worth our time. It'd be a rather entertaining stream, I think. If you're interested, I'll link it in the pinned comment. Do swing by. Additionally, if you have any questions you'd like to ask, by all means put them in the comments down below and we'll seek to answer them during the stream. Today we're going to be responding to a, another individual who's had a rather harrowing experience that must be shared on TikTok where everyone cares. And by that I mean no one cares, but some people just can't help but share this. Oddly, there are two videos I have like this, so I might show the second one just to prove the point of how little everyone cares but how identical these people always seem to look. And it's always in a car. You need to make it into a mukbang and do it with food as well, make it a story time. But embellish it like Gabby Hanna used to in the past in Tana Mongoose. Because then you'll get more views, more clicks, more attention, you get that clout that you don't want but you do want and you don't want but kind of want all the time anyway. So now I've gotten all the kindness out of my system, take it away metal mustache mammal. Minutes I was in the store, less than five f***ing minutes I was inside Walgreens and I got grabbed by an old man. Her chance, did the old man in question happen to have a magnet on him or a metal detector because I'm noticing an obscene amount of it on your face and it's always possible he was just drawn to it or a magpie perhaps seeking a shiny object or maybe he saw your nose and thought aren't I supposed to hog tie you and then listen to the two front employees console this old man when he complained about me losing my when he touched me. Obviously we are going to need to know the full context of the situation. Hopefully in this video you're going to provide it because you started with a very woe be me, I'm going to shout obscenely loud to make my point. But without context we're not going to learn a whole lot are we? I was shopping for the stupid trendy peelable gummy mangoes. I don't even like mango. I hate mango flavored. It just looked cool. I was in Walgreens for less than five minutes. Also I was right about the clout thing. You jumped on a trend of something that's apparently fascinating, even though you yourself do not like mango, which is complete and utter bullshit. Everyone likes mango, shut up. If you don't like it, be the exception. I'm gonna tell you to shut up in the comments. Don't you worry, I got you bro. Not bro, other bro, all the bro. You decided to go and get it because it looked cool. You have far too much disposable income, I think. We need to up your taxes. <laughs> Jokes aside, at least you're consistent. You've so far mentioned you were there for four minutes. For, well, effing. I blanked it out multiple times. Minutes. Have you considered the volume control on your voice? Because shouting into your phone for TikTok doesn't really yield much in the way of a positive outcome and you surely would know that. And this man comes around the corner and the second I see him, all of my f***ing alarm bells are ringing. He flags my radar. So your spidey senses were tingling when you saw a man. Or this particular man you have profiled based on the gut. A well-established empirical piece of data that is quite useful in places like a courtroom where fact never prevails over fiction. If you're going to be pedantic in my comments about what I just said, you can fuck off. So I leave the aisle. I do what I'm supposed to in my DNA and I get the fuck out. And you know what he does? He comes up to me and he goes, well, don't you got a lot going on? He's not wrong. You have a very extroverted presentation of your personality in the sense that a lot of what is and should probably be considered on the inside is manifested on the outside. For example, your nose, you have that rather large metal moustache, as I like to call it. You have multiple studs going on, you are wearing a lot of black, you're quite pale, your nails are obscenely long, impractically so. So you do have a lot going on. That's not necessarily a bad thing, and it could be considered a form of flirting, of course. It could also just be an icebreaker to start a conversation without seeing the interaction one could not best understand whether or not it could be interpreted as creepy, inappropriate, or just a bit of rapport. And so I say to him really f***ing rudely, because I already knew, I said, have a nice day. I mean, that's certainly one way of going about it. You could have replied, uh, yes, sir, thank you very much for noticing. Uh, I'm now going to go and pay for my goods and depart this store. Do have yourself a wonderful day. Of course, said in a mean way, because that's how you um, engage with other people. You show them just how introverted you are, and not having any control over the tone and volume of your voice. And of course, going into any conversation with a level of toxicity. It's quite the empowering trait, isn't it, now? And I continued to walk. And he put his fucking hand, like, right here on my shoulder to kind of, like, stop me. And so I flipped my arm back, and I was like, what the fuck? Old 
punch you in the throat. Firstly, the gentleman said one thing to you. You have a lot going on. Five words. That's all it took for you to get very aggressive. No doubt stopping you because you were being very rude. Some people obey certain societal norms when it comes to courtesy, when it comes to engaging with other people. Now, I know we were all raised to never speak to strangers. Without knowing the full context of the man in question, it comes across as him simply having a conversation with you and you deciding to be incredibly aggressive, unnecessarily so. But that, I've noticed, has become quite the common trait with younger generations. Instead of trying to find that gauge of where one could go, instead going to an extreme is it. You show your hand early and that's all you do because you have no other tricks up your sleeve. You've gone straight to I will punch you in the throat, which I don't think you'll do with those nails. You would actually break every single one and you'd more than likely cause yourself a genuine injury. You're an internet tough guy at best. All mouth, no trousers. I will punch you in the throat. What in the world makes you think you old decrepit skeleton cut that you can put your hands on me? I love that TikTok has become essentially a video format for regular Tumblr users to dear diary and explain themselves and get out of their system the fury they feel that they cannot really manifest in a store. Would anyone like to put money on this person having a reaction, but the reaction being entirely internalized? So they go to their car, outside Walgreens still, no doubt, and then scream what they really wanted to say that they were too cowardly to actually say. Your unnecessary attacks on this old skeleton person are quite impressive, if not a little misguided. Five words, remember, that's all it took to get you triggered. Because you want to get a better look at my f You pierced your nose in North Idaho and all of a sudden you're a zoo animal. Was your nasal piercing, by chance, done at the Idaho Falls Zoo? Because if it was, then this would go so far as to explain why you pointlessly referenced the fact you had it done in Idaho. Are you next going to tell us your blood type? Perhaps share any immunocompromised problems you might have? If you do and you answer that your blood type is red, I'm going to be very, very upset with you. But not surprised. Your intelligence does seem a little bit stunted. The amount of equally pointless profanities I'm having to censor is evidence enough. And then I walk out of the aisle after I threaten to punch him in the throat and he walks up to the front desk to the two old bitches. I see we're doing some judgmental attitudes here. First of all, the decrepit skeleton being ancient and skinny, and now the employees at Walgreens also being old whammon. And he has gone to them rightly to complain about a customer who has threatened to physically harm him over five words and his hand on their shoulder. He didn't grip you with enough force to raise you from perdition, if you've got that reference, 10 points to respective Hogwarts house. He undoubtedly put his hand on your shoulder because you were being very rude to him. Unnecessarily so, or because your spidey sense told you that in your gut and your heart of hearts, which I don't think exists, and if it does, it's no doubt got dermal piercings, that this man was the wrong one. And he starts complaining about how I flipped his hand off of me when he was trying to get a better look at my face. You still haven't proven what his original intention was. Beyond five words, all you've shown is that you are volatile and in need of Ritalin. Perhaps a prescription to take up yoga. We are typically told to calm one's anxiety, yours undoubtedly in a social setting of one person or more, to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. So you might want to remove your bull bars off first. Although you could also argue that that would be used in a fight against a stag. And I'm just in the next aisle over. And these stupid old that are working the register are consoling him. They're saying, how dare they be like big and dark, I think is what they called me. You thinking what they called you seems a bit open to interpretation, of course, sensationalized. You should have, if you were smart, recorded it. Then you'd have something in this video to go on rather than some weak tea story time of you getting triggered again over five words so you can sensationalize for clicks while simultaneously demonstrating just how fickle you are and equally how absolutely majestic your nasal bath left is. Um, and like take up so much space and expect not to be stopped and talked to about my appearance. You need to take up what I do as a hobby. 
Uh, I like to pass unnoticed, so generally I wear clothing that doesn't make me stand out. Now, of course, your personality, your body, your choice. If you don't want to run the risk of older people looking at you and drawing attention to your appearance, although simultaneously it could just be a conversation, you might want to consider dressing down a little. Wear a hoodie, keep the hood up if you want to be less sus. Wear a mask so they can't see the lower half of your face. You're in a pharmacy after all, and I hear masking up is still quite popular in places like that, certainly in some areas of America. Or, and do give this a moment, hear me out, consider acting less like somebody that everyone else would think is on their period. I don't think you are, I think you're a moron, but only because it took five words. My personal best was three, but five is impressive, especially for a decrepit old man. Of course, home advantage, one hand as well. So four fingers and a thumb and the palm. I wanted gummy mangoes, not to be touched. I am so glad for volume control. And I just want to highlight at the start, you mentioned you don't like mango. Gummies, yes, because of the trend, but not mango. So what's the bleeding point in the first place? Also, if you are what I think you are, incredibly introverted and reactive, rather than going out and baiting for story time so you can use it on your TikTok to tell your quaint little tales of woe, why not instead order them online? I say this because I Google searched it and you can buy mango gummies online from many retailers. So I think what you really need to do is calm your tits and have a biscuit. I want a gummy mangoes and my medicine. Well, you could have led with the medicine part, couldn't you? Although, to be honest, if you were in Walgreens, I kind of would have understood it in the first place. This still feels like a massive overreaction, though, doesn't it? Have you considered a soothing medicament? One to give your mind the zen it requires. I have the perfect solution for you if you require. Sugar-free gummies. Pause the screen if you need to read this. Please! Is that too much to ask for? And not be touched? I'm sweaty. I don't feel good. Just because you are a bit on the oh, moist side of things, and just because your temper is clearly quite frayed, you are not as calm as you would like to be. That does not entitle you to rage about somebody or rage in their face and then get angry when they talk to the staff about the very inappropriate behavior of someone because of five words in one hand. I will agree some space should have been respected, but older people do not respect those rules, they respect different rules. One of those rules includes the word respect. Learn decorum, basically. You need to learn that. Because old people can't keep up with you young hip folk. But in what world? Why? Huh? But in what world? Why? Yeah, I heard that the first time. I have no idea what you just said. I even ran it with captions on and my my computer couldn't work it out either. I stand by everything I've said in this video. You're an idiot. Now I mentioned there's a similarity between this and another video. I may well make that next week's response video because it's another person sat in their car bitching about things that quite frankly don't need to be bitched about, but I like to share with the class and it gives me an excuse to be a dickhead. I like being a dickhead. I hope you do too. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like on the way out. Ta-ta everyone.